losses. Does this feel different than some yeah. of those losses from last year? Right. Um, I mean, every every loss hurts, but yeah, it's a be- it's a better feeling because you play your heart, you played your heart out. Nothing you could do. They all played us tonight. So. What you guys do specifically you know, with, the, with the defensive front in the first half? Um, you guys had Roy kind of in the middle. Did that kind of help you? The linebackers open some stuff up for you guys in the second level. Yeah. Um, not really, because uh, this game I was playing on the line like as a DN, because we go down package because they throw so much. But I think we just contained them more in the first half, and then we let them get out of hand in the second half. Anything happened on that final drive specific? Kind of wish you had that. Yeah, um, when he broke long, I dived at his legs. I missed. He broke for like fifty. That's that's about it. Can't dwell on it. Are you guys a lot better than last year? Is that obvious now? Yeah, it's, it's obvious. I think I think the crowd can tell and everybody can tell. So. What about that atmosphere? How y'all fit in tonight? Um, it's a great atmosphere. Like, cause, like last year, you'll see people leaving, going into the fourth quarter, and now you got people sticking around. You got fans. It's just a great feeling to have. Think you had them there? Yeah. Um, you know, it's just a tough game. It was a good game. Uh, we left a lot of points on the field. Went down the red zone twice and didn't score. Um, set up field goals. Um, you know, we just got to execute a little bit better. Talk about the play calling sequence on that last drive. Uh, I think it was good. You know, um, we had a quarterback draw on the last, or there was a second down. And um, I mean, it was really just a good play by the defensive tackle, shedding the block, getting off. And I mean, he slowed me down just enough for guys to rally around. I think it was a good call. It's a play I should have made. Jamil, was this a game you guys should have won? Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, I mean, if you were watching, you could tell we had momentum. Um, I think our run game was was, was excellent today. Uh, there's a couple of throws that I missed that I should have made. It took me too long to settle down, um, but we should we should have had this one. What were your thoughts of the play call for the last few plays of the game when you guys were throwing the ball? And you said your run was so good. Yeah, um, I mean, I agreed with it. You know, I mean, I think we. You know, we called that quarterback draw, thinking you know they're going to drop guys like they did, and it was like I said, it was just a good, a good play by the defensive tackle number ninety. How, how would you compare the way this? I mean, obviously it hurts because it's so close, but compare this loss to like the ten you had last year. It's a better feeling. I mean, you know, losses are always hard, you know, but I mean, I think it's just you know trying to take positive out of the negative, and uh, I mean, you could tell last year this this game probably have been a lot worse than it, than it was. You know, I mean, we still should have won it. But, um, you know, I, I think this team is, you know, we have a lot of grit to us. Did they surprise you then they did up front or blitzes or any coverages? Or just, you know? You know, not really. I mean, you know, when they feel like they have uh, personnel over guys, you know, they're going to they're gonna stack the box. And, you know, we ran really well against New Mexico. And we knew that they were going to bring a safety down in the box and, and play man behind it. So, I mean, they did exactly what we expected. Uh, we just, you know, just like I said, you know, we got down in the red zone twice and didn't score. And, you know, it's kind of the tell of the game. Uh, just, just inaccurate, you know. Um, it's just something on me. Uh, something I got. I had, I had to settle down. I didn't settle down enough, you know, early in the game, you know. But you know, it's just something that you got to go to practice and go to work for. Talk about the the attitude when you guys were down twenty three to thirteen. Mm-hmm. You guys showed a lot of grit there. Yeah, uh, I mean, we had a great attitude. You know, we should have won the game. Um, you know, we were down, and we knew we knew we could, you know, compete with these guys, you know, and, and I think it showed in the game. What did uh, Cliff say to you at the end of the game? Uh, not much. He just said, "Good game." Uh, you know, if, if there's anything he can do to help me out, you know, let him know. Uh, I mean, he's he's been the same guy since you know since I was at A and M. He's always been, you know, pretty supportive of me. You know, trying to help me out the best he can. So. Even with the loss, you think you guys still send something of a message across the conference to the athletes today? Yeah, I think so. You know, we're not the same UTEP we were last year. You know, I think that's the biggest message right there. As a leader of the team, do you say anything to the guys in the locker room after the game? Uh, just keep your heads up. You know, I mean, you can't get down. It's, you know, second game of the season. You know, if you get down right now, you have a long, long season ahead of you. So I think, you know, um, I really just, just told them to keep their heads up. You know, just like everybody else is telling us. You know, I mean, this is all true. Have you ever seen a team with as many good running backs that can just run a team over like you have this year? No, uh, not really. You know, I mean, we have, we talk about like a one two punch. I mean, we have, you know, six guys that can really run the ball. Uh, and, you know, it just makes my job easier. You know, it makes a pass, it opens up the pass game because guys try to come down, stop the run, and it opens up the pass game. So. You kind of hoping you get a carry on that last possession? Uh, yes, sir. But I know uh, we had put the ball in Jamil's hands, I and mean, he's a playmaker as well. 
so we trusted him. Talk about your performance tonight. I just wanted to go out and show that uh, our team can play with any team in the country, and we felt like we proved that. Uh, we just came up a little short. What was the feeling like going after that last possession? Did you think you had? Uh, it was a great feeling. Autre put us in a scoring position, and uh, hey, we were like, "Hey guys, this is this is our game to win. We got the we got the clock on our side, and we got the ball at the end of the game." What about the 88-yard drive that you guys had to take the lead? You didn't have any drives like that last year. That's really significant considering you got it. What was that? Like? Uh, it, it was it was good. I mean, our leaders stepped up and they told us, "Hey, we need to score if we want to stay in the game." And of course, we wanted to stay in the game, so we uh, we did what we had to do. Talk about what you saw on that drive. I think you had uh, no, uh, carried no less than five yards on that drive. What were you seeing? I just seen uh, our linemen, fullbacks, and tight ends opening up holes for me, and I was just running. How, how would you compare this loss to some of the ones last year? I mean, is it, I hate to say a better feeling right now, but uh, no, I mean, it's a good feeling showing everybody in the country that hey, uh, UTEP isn't the same team, but it still hurts. I mean, we're going to come out and play next week hard. Was the best atmosphere you played in the Sun Bowl? Uh, yeah, so far? Yes, it has been. It was crazy. The fans were great. Um, love the support. Did you do anything on, on that last drive a little different or what happened on that? Uh, I think we just let our emotions get the best of us on the drive, you know. Um, Man, can't can't really say too much about it. How does it feel just to be in that position? I mean, is this something that's going to make you guys a better team to be in that situation? As a defense, I feel like um, that's the that's the best position we can be in at the end of the game. We want the game on our shoulders. We pride ourselves on winning games as a defense, so you know positions like that, we need to take more opportunity of them and like just try to come out with a win next time. On the whole, do you think the defense showed it's a lot better than it was last year? Uh, yes, as a group, I think I think we've uh, improved a lot in every position. Um, it's just a better feeling knowing what you're doing, flying around and having fun. Um, we just have to capitalize on on more plays, and it'll be better. Let's talk about kind of your role today. It seemed like you were rushing off the edge and wearing coverage. You know, that's something. You know, tell us talk about that comfort level that you have in the defense, and only and not, and not only that, but your confidence. Well, um, during the offseason, I, I practiced with a lot of strong safety rushing off the edge. In our defense, the strong safety is basically outside linebacker, so I do a lot of blitzing. Um, I'm also a cover guy, too, so I'm, I'm very comfortable wherever I'm needed, so that's, that's pretty much it. Is there more confidence right now than was after two games last year? Uh, yes and no. Um, yes, because, you know, I guess uh, this was supposed to be a blowout. It was predict predicted to be a blowout, but we still have to come out with the win. Um, we're not trying to be second best. We're trying to win games. So it's, it's good and bad. You can find good and bad in, in the situation. See a lot of positives. Oh, I've seen a lot of positives, man. I think we played hard. We got out there and we, you know, we knew what we were doing. And, you know, we just played. We had great technique, but, you know, we just kind of came up short. Had a lot of one on one out there. They kind of picked on you and kind of showed them that you can hang in there. Just talk about your confidence out there. Well, uh, at first, I kind of felt like, you know, I was a little fatigued from uh, all the special teams, but, you know, I just had to, you know, kind of suck it up and, you know, man up because I felt like they were trying me, you know, and I just had to, you know, go out there and, you know, prove to my team that I wasn't going to let that happen. Where do you think the last drive? Man, I was thinking that I just needed to make a play, like basically kind of like something like last week. I just felt like that they were going to test me again like they've been doing all night, and I felt like I had to make a play. You know, as I was expecting the deep ball, and they, they kind of got us on, on some short things, and, and they kind of ran the ball on us. Talk about the crowd mostly going to sit around until 12, 12.30 at night. I mean, the atmosphere was great. man. I think they helped us, they helped us out a lot. Just, you know, like – the crowd, the, the whole thing was just like they had us pumped up and they kind of had us going, you know. It, we kind of fed off of off of their energy and helped us play, you know, pretty good. You guys gave up 500 yards, but it didn't feel like it. What do you think was the key to just kind of containing them and making, forcing them to go to make drives instead of just giving up big plays? Just doing our responsibilities. You know, it was a couple of times where, you know, guys weren't in certain certain spots in certain places. And, you know, we just had to go back to the to the sideline and correct some things. You know, we just would have done better at uh, doing our jobs as a whole. 
and you know probably would have played a little better. Cool.